Today I'm going to show you how to make some cordage or rope out of natural fibers. So we're going to use fibers that we've collected either using dry grass or green grass or maybe sisal, that's what this is, or jute. Um, there's a lot of things you can use. You could even take apart yarn or use wool roving or cotton and try that. So we're going to make some cordage that we can use to tie things, rope things. Let's start with taking a bundle of fibers and I'm going to tie the end and it's just going to make it a little easier. You can also put it in a clipboard if you want to. Just any kind of knot that does that. Now you need something to hold it. So I'm going to use the bucket. It's really fun to use just plain uh, grass and use the ground. So I'm going to divide these into two and yeah, just like you did right there, I'm going to wrap around the handle of the bucket so there's half of it on one side and half of it on the other. So as you can see, these fibers aren't very strong. I take this bundle of fibers, look, I can just break that. They just break away, right? So what we're trying to do is make it stronger. So they're going to wrap around each other. I'm going to take one bundle and I'm going to wrap it or twist it left or counterclockwise. So for me, it's counterclockwise. You can twist it either direction you want. I'm going to twist it up a little bit. I'm going to twist about an inch. So I'm twisting that direction, that direction. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap each bundle and I'm going to wrap them in the opposite direction. So I twisted them that way. Now I'm going to wrap this way. After I've wrapped it a couple of times, I'll have to twist again. Twist and wrap. Twist and wrap. Twist and wrap. Hey, you're doing a really good job on there. Thank you. Twist and wrap. Okay. So look how tidy that looks, and it's really strong. What are some things that you think that we could use cordage for? Uh, tying up horses, keeping uh, things together, since there wasn't tape back then. Right, that's a good idea. Tying up the horses, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be key to, to having horses the next day, wouldn't it? You could also tie up cattle. You do a thicker cordage. So that bundle is looking really good and really tidy. Um, I'm going to show you what happens if you twist it the wrong direction. So when I let go of this, it stays. It just stays how it is. It doesn't untwist. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to try I'm going to wrap another bundle around. I'm going to show you what happens if I twist and wrap the same direction. So I'm going to twist the same direction as I did last time. I'm going to twist counterclockwise just because that's how my fingers like to do it. Okay. So I've twisted a little bit. And then instead of going the opposite way for wrapping, I'm going to go the same way. So I'm wrapping the same way. Twisted. And look. Look at the difference between those two. One of them looks a little tidier than the other. A little bit. Now I'm going to see. So I've done about an inch, let go, and it's already coming apart. Okay, so it's not staying tight. So the key to this is twisting one direction, wrapping the opposite direction, then the fibers lock onto each other. I could do this with hair too. That would be mm -hmm. kind of cool. It'd look good. Now it might take a long time and sooner or later you're going to run out of fibers and you'll want longer fibers. So I just grabbed some more fibers, more grass, whatever I'm using, milkweed or yucca, um, you can use the milkweed stem or yucca stem fibers. 
I just grab that extra piece of fiber and I just lay it on top of one of the sections and kind of like if you know how to French braid you just start twisting it in and yeah it doesn't look as good there's a little bit of a rough spot right there where the fibers go in but now I've got more length and it keeps going and I just keep adding more and adding more probably don't want to add both sides at the same time this bundle needs some more so I would just add some more fibers into that twist it in and wrap it would take a lot of rope a really thick rope to rope cattle with those little thin ropes aren't going to cut it for that Yes, what the settlers would use is a rope machine uh, and this would allow you to make much bigger rope uh, and much faster than you would with the cordage. This involves stringing it through and cranking this and it automatically makes your rope. Oh, so it twists it for you? Those are like little hands twisting it. Yeah, these grab on and rotate the strands for you to make the rope. Oh, that looks really cool.